Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Pisces, let's check on your, I guess your chakras for the week, right? This is the chakra deck. All right, Pisces, what is going on this week for you? Holy Spirit. Pisces, it may or may not resonate, you know? It may just be one card or something. Take a card, surf a card. Make it make sense for you. If not, stop, drop, and roll, right? Holy Spirit for Pisces, what's going on? Complacency. You're kind of, uh, that's how you, you kind of feel in your, you're in your feelings, you're in a mood, you're quiet, you're thinking, you're complacent. You... You kind of like, hmm, right? Look, see the picture. <clears throat> your energy could be kind of like, mm. you know, you probably have a lot on your mind, thinking about a lot of things. Maybe you're just taking a quiet day right now, you know? Maybe you just want to think and do nothing, right? Kind of complacent a little bit. Something's coming to an end, Pisces. There's completion of something. I don't know if some of you are going to a funeral this week, like an actual little funeral, or definitely completing a cycle, completing a relationship, letting something go. Maybe you're complacent about this ending here. Impatient. Pisces, I don't know if you've been impatient about something or you've been expecting something to come for you, come to you, in yeah, fruition. I don't know if you were expecting a job, something. You're expecting something, but you're a little impatient, right? You're impatient about something. And forgiveness. You're in a space of forgiveness as well. All of this can happen this week, right? You're kind of like, mm. But there's definitely an ending in your life and you're impatient about something else that you either want or you want to happen and then there's forgiveness here. I don't know if you're asking for forgiveness or giving forgiveness. Pisces, what is going on? Holy Spirit. Pisces, you're moving on, and it looks like you're going to move on fast. Um, you're impatient about something, but something ended in your life, and now you're swimming away to calmer waters. Let's see. Pisces, you feel like Someone cheated on you, right? They did. Someone cheated out there doing the wrong thing. And it, it stabbed you in your back. And now it's over. There's a completion there. Somebody stabbed you in your back. Here's your ten of swords. But you're single. You're abundant. You're going to swim away to calmer waters. And I don't think you're going to wait for it. That's what the impatience is. I don't think you're going to wait. I think you're just going to find out what happens and probably leave, right? But you're definitely wide awake. You're not a hermit anymore. And you don't know where you're headed. But you're going to, you're definitely changing things. I don't know if you're gonna forgive someone, give forgive someone else. Yeah, Pisces, you're gonna move on. You're standing in your strength after whatever happened here this this stabbing you in your back ten times. I guess enough is enough, right? Somebody manipulated you, Pisces. 
They manipulated you, Pisces. And it looks like you're just going to start a brand new world for yourself. You're complacent right now about this ending. But it looks like you're going to move on. You've been through judgment. you thought about it. There's victory, Pisces, on the other side of this. There is victory for you on the other side of this ending. This is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So you're separating families. Uh, could have been together for a long time. But you're definitely not up in your head anymore about this person, about the situation, about this connection. I think you're just going to move on. You are the Queen of Wands. I think you're going to realize who you are. You're also going to realize that you probably wasn't happy with this person anyway. Like you're not up in your head anymore. Victory is uh, after this ending, Pisces. There's your two of wands. You're stepping out. We have the king of pentacles here. Pisces, you're moving on because it was unbalanced. And this person wants the devil. It could have been somebody who either worked for themselves, has a really good paying job or whatever. But this person was the devil. You just didn't see it. Because the devil looks all shiny and pretty and handsome and stuff like that. Spirit, clarify this devil here. Who is the devil? Yeah, the devil came in as love, Pisces. It looked like love. But it was the it was a karmic will. It looked like love. Yep, the devil came in shiny and gold. Let me show you. That's how the devil appeared in your life, shiny. But what it had in his hand was the karmic will in reverse. It's just been karma. As soon as you got with this person. Pisces, this was infidelity. It was infidelity. And you're moving on. You're starting over. And there's no new beginnings here, Pisces. And it's going to leave that devil and hangman. They're going to be shocked. Or maybe you're going to be shocked about this cheating. But you have new beginnings in front of you. And this is a missed opportunity for them. Could have found out about another lover in the reverse. They had options. You feel Pisces. You also have stability in your life. You're keeping yourself busy working. And you're going to walk away. And magic is alive in your life. Because this was injustice. And that was not your wish fulfillment. You do have money coming in for you though Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. I told you your blessings are going to start. You're going to get victory after you end this connection here. Yeah, you're moving on. You're going to take that L, Pisces, and you're moving on fast with the quickness. We have a King of Cups coming in with love, a reason to celebrate. Maybe you could just be a friend or whoever. But Pisces, you was a little complacent. You had to figure some things out, and you did. This person deceived you, and you finally got your clarity. They are not your emotional fulfillment. I'm going to you frustrated, Pisces. But you have no regrets moving on. No, you don't. No, you don't, Pisces. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Holy Spirit for Pisces. I hope y'all heard me. My voice wasn't very loud this time. Holy Spirit. This is the wanting moon. Pisces, you're doing self-inventory. You're going through yourself and you're checking out everything. Yes, 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 no, yes. You know, whatever you need to do. You're taking self-inventory of yourself, realizing who you are and all that, everything else. Pisces, you are a unicorn. You're very innocent-like. You trust and you're very honest. And this is mugwurst. Pisces, you're following your rights of passage. Passage. You're realizing who you are. 
Um, and somebody paid you. They did. Basically. That's what they did, Pisces. That is what they did. They placed you, played, played you, and you put it to sleep. This is an ending, right? And then you're just going to move on with the quickness. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.